In a follow-up to our previous slides, according to the Alliance for Excellent Education, the national graduation rate for African American high school students for 2010 is 51%. According to a most recent article in the Charleston Regional Business Journal, the South Carolina public school graduation rate for African American high school students is 67.9%. South Carolina ranks last in the overall graduation rate at 55% followed by Georgia at 56 and New York at 58. It is extremely hard to gauge exactly why the graduation rates are so low because there are many variables and factors contributing to the problem. The sad truth is that our monopolistic system has continued to produce nothing but incremental gains among white students while regulating yet another generation of black students to second-class status even as black leaders continue embracing the failed status quo. Also, a recent report found that more than one-third of the nation's 100 worst public schools are located in South Carolina. According to a report by Education Week, just 55% average of South Carolina high school students graduate on time, which is well below the national average of 65%. Also, only 45% of African American students and 39% of Hispanic students in South Carolina graduate on time. With the future in mind, the most troubling factor is reports indicate that South Carolina has only increased their overall graduation rate by 1.5% over the last 10 years. During this period, the state has spent millions of dollars on complex plans designed to increase the rates exponentially. The bottom line is that slightly more than one out of every four students fails to graduate on time. According to State Superintendent Mike Zalas, a one-size-fits-all approach to public education won't increase graduation rates. We need creative, innovative, and student-centered solutions that match students with learning environments that meet their needs. We need courses that demonstrate the relevance of coursework to the world of work and we need to ensure that students master the basic necessary skills to successfully complete high school. Lastly, one of the largest contributing factors is the average poverty index in South Carolina. At 6 out of 10 schools in the state, at least 70% of students were living in poverty as of last year. The poverty index grew more than 2% to 76.1% from 2009 to 2010. With regards to the previous slides, we would like to discuss the many programs, both locally and nationally, that are in place to help promote education and help increase graduation rates. The programs include WINGS, Big Brother Big Sister, Boys and Girls Club of America, National Assessment of Educational Progress, and the Communities in Schools of Charleston Area Incorporated. For the purpose of this project, we're going to specifically focus on uh, two Charleston organizations, uh, Communities and Schools of Charleston Incorporated and WINGS. WINGS is an educational program that teaches kids how to behave well, make good decisions, and build healthy relationships. They do this by uh, weaving a comprehensive social and emotional learning curriculum into a fresh and fun after school, pro school program. Kids get the life lessons they need to succeed and be happy and they get a safe place to call, call home after school. WINGS has proven to be successful in helping kids in the youth development field. The program has been singled out for the quality and effectiveness of its work by many credible institutions. Yale University most namely shows how WINGS develops uh, attachment to schools and uh, improves behavior. Most recently, WINGS has been awarded with the Charleston Regional Business Journal's Innovators Award. 
Uh, as well, they have been recognized as a best practice by many prestigious educational organizations. The CIS Student Support Program is designed to counter the risk factors associated with school failure by providing pr protect protective measures that can influence a student's decision to remain in school and be successful in life. These, protect, these protective direct services are individualized and include mentoring, tutoring, life skills, case management, and individual and group counseling sessions in drug, alcohol, and teen pregnancy prevention, reading literacy activities, and quality after school activities. As a group, we chose to learn as much as possible about the education in South Carolina in order to convey to the community the severity of the low graduation rates among public schools in South Carolina. We want them to see real facts and real numbers. People tend to ignore real world issues because they do not think that they are directly affected by it. In the community, we showed people the, these statistics and they became more aware of the severity of the problem. Because of this, they were more willing to get involved and help the situation. Finally, in closing, this problem relates to the content of this course because we have learned that it has been a constant struggle for African Americans to receive education in this country. African Americans have seen education as a road to equality. Booker T. Washington and W.E.B. Du Bois were great advocates for education because they saw it as a way for the entire black community to progress forward. One of the goals of the Civil Rights Movement was equality in education. Overall, African Americans have made great strides in their goals for education. However, as statistics show, the education gap has yet to be completely closed.